I would rather be Xiao Yan's dog than be friends with Tang San. Muli crossed to Duki Continent and became the young commander of the Wolf Head Mercenary Regiment in Qingshan Town. The unexpected awakening angel investor system only requires investing in others to obtain returns. Xiao Yanzi, keep working hard and next year my brother will change your sister. In. Law. Xiao Yanzi, your speed is not good. I'm already fighting against the king. You just fought against the spirit. Xiao Yanzi. Fighting spirit. Cultivation techniques. Danielle. I, the leader of the Wind Spirit Moon Shadow Sect, Mu Li, said, you can do whatever you want. I have a showdown, and I am just a cheater. Many years later, while Xiao Yan was still competing with the sole heavenly emperor for the ancient emperor's cave, Mu Li had already returned from the vast world with his green scales, Little Doctor Immortal, Zi Yan, and others. Keywords of the novel Do Pa I am an angel investor in Do Chi continent without a pop.up window. Do Pa I am an angel investor in Do Chi continent. Download the complete text. Do Pa I am an angel investor in Do Chi continent. Latest chapter reading Chapter 1 The place of rebirth is a bit crooked. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 1 The place of rebirth is a bit crooked, young captain, what's wrong with you? A soft and bone chilling sound echoed in Muley's ear. He suddenly lowered his head and saw a plump woman with half undressed clothes lying on the side of the golden Nanmu bed. That woman lived an extremely beautiful life, about 20.8 or 9 years old with high temples and a seductive expression between her eyebrows and eyes. Under her plump red lips, there is also a faint mold that exudes the charm of a mature woman. The crispy chest is towering and full, with a slight hint of flesh hanging from the stomach. Coupled with a spacious grinding wheel, it makes people feel extremely eager to conquer at a glance. Slightly overweight is the best. Without time to think, a large memory suddenly emerged. Duki Continent, Gama Empire, Qingshan Town, Muli. Is this a time travel for oneself? Muli gently caressed his face and murmured softly. As she murmured, a mechanical female voice suddenly came out of her mind. Ding! The Angel Investor System has been launched. Host. Muli Age. 20 years old strength. Six star fighter qualification. Brass 4, as you are a beginner during your protection period, we are sending you one investment opportunity now. You have two investment opportunities in total, but Doja only has one investment opportunity per month. As your level increases, your monthly investment opportunities will also increase. Muley listened to the system prompt and gritted his teeth, shouting, Choose investment, Xiao Yan, the young leader of the Xiao family in Wutan City. Okay, the system is matching. Matching successful, due to the current low number of investors, the reward is as follows, Xiao Yan promoted to Do. You have received an opportunity to improve your qualifications, a basic skill of the Xian level. Xiao Yan's promotion to Do sure. You can get a chance to advance directly to a higher level Xiao Yan promotes to Master of Great Do. You can obtain advanced techniques in the Xian stage and improve the level of an alchemist. Confirm investment and add investment to Xiao Yan. Nodding, Muli said in a deep voice. Just finished speaking, Wutan City, Xiao family. In the backyard of the Xiao family, a young man with black hair was sitting cross-legged, surrounded by a constant surge of fighting spirit towards him. Under the flushing of the fighting spirit, the young man's face was grim and his breathing became rapid. Xiao Yen. Protect your meridians, don't think about anything else, gather the cyclone. An old voice suddenly sounded, making Xiao Yen wake up. Xiao Yen took a deep breath and then formed a strange fingerprint on his chest, as if he had practiced it millions of times in his mind. Three years, 1105 days. Yes, it's been three years now. He waited for three whole years on this day, day and night, recalling these actions in his mind, 
just for today. Nalin Yen ran. Ah. As his fingerprints appeared, his fighting spirit converged along the meridians to his lower abdomen, and the intense pain instantly made him roar out loud. At this moment, his face twisted and his clothes were soaked in sweat. Suddenly, he felt a mysterious force surge into his body, and the pain he had just felt instantly disappeared, replaced by a warm and comfortable feeling. At the same time, the doji cyclone has already condensed. Ha ha ha, Xiao Yan felt the long-lost feeling, kneeling on both knees and roaring up to the sky. He did it, he did it. He has now returned to the doubler. Oh, why did you go straight to the two-star dough? Just as Xiao Yan was ecstatic, Yao Lao suddenly frowned and whispered. Xiao Yan only then began to detect his body, revealing the strength of the two-star fighter. As the master and disciple were puzzled, Mu Li, who was far away in Qingshan town, grinned. Ding! Congratulations to the host for obtaining the Xian level skill. Wind Spirit Moon Shadow skill, an opportunity to improve your qualifications. The mechanical female voice reached Muli's ears, but it was like fairy music, making him feel soft all over. At this moment, the plump and beautiful woman on the bed once again sweetly said, Young captain, let's hurry up, otherwise the dead ghost will come back and you will be in trouble. I'll go, this is still a personal wife. This kid is quite playful. Muli heard this with a thud and was about to think about who this person was when he heard a thud and a sturdy man stood straight at the door. The woman in bed let out an, ah, scream and then pulled the blanket to cover Miaoman's body. I said, I got lost and came here. We didn't do anything, do you believe me? He rubbed his nose and his eyes dodged. Finally, he bravely met the man and said. The man looked at Muli's young cheeks, his dark yellow old face turning red and his veins bulging. He clenched his fist and finally let out a long sigh, saying, You go. Muli couldn't bear to see his age and his wife being such a capable person, so he took out five hundred gold coins from his body and handed them to him, we really didn't happen anything. These can be considered my compensation. Although it was a gesture of goodwill, it became a blatant insult in the eyes of a man. This is treating my wife like a courtesan, and as long as I give money, I can come and visit casually. The man humbly accepted the gold coins and then silently left his small house. As soon as the man left, the woman poked her head out again and said with a coquettish smile, the young captain is really generous. 500 gold coins. That coward wouldn't be able to earn so much even if he didn't eat or drink for a month. After speaking, he continued to show off his charm. Get lost. My little face turned cold, and a cold light flashed in my eyes. Muli let out a cold cry. Subsequently, amidst the woman's frightened voice, a few leaps left the small courtyard and followed their memories back to the Wolf Head Mercenary Corps. Along the way, mercenaries who came and went extended their hands to greet him. Good morning, young leader. Young captain, why was it so early? I went there again. Young Captain Muli searched through his memory and put on a cold face, only then did he not see any flaws. After returning to his own cabin, Muli tightly closed the door and took out the descent of the system to start grinding. Xuanjia Junior Skill Wind Spirit Moon Shadow Skill You think this is a martial arts book, but in fact, it's a wall-hanging technique a few words deepened Muli's recognition of this martial arts technique. After two hours of cultivation, Wind Spirit Moon Shadow Technique has finally been successfully cultivated. In just an instant, Muli felt that the speed of the fighting spirit had increased significantly, and at the same time, the richness of the fighting spirit was also stronger than before. Ha with a slight smile on his lips and a nod, Mu Li Chang took a deep breath and unconsciously exclaimed, It's truly the wind spirit moon shadow. The speed of cultivation is much faster than the yellow rank technique. Next, he set his goal on the enhancement of his qualifications. He clicked to use it, and in an instant, a golden light shone down, warm and almost making him moan. I don't know how long it has been, but the aura around Mu Li changed, 
and finally he let out a heavy mouthful of turbid air. Seven Star Fighter, Successful Host Muley Age 20 years old strength Seven Star Fighter Qualification Brass 1 End of this chapter Chapter 2 Father's Love Like a Mountain You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 2 Father's Love Like a Mountain I'll give you an asterisk B you star, Muley looked at himself still in the brass qualification and instinctively cursed, not to mention gold, he still had to give me silver. Lear, are you inside? Suddenly, a strong voice exploded in his ear. Is this Moose Snake? My current father. It's broken, I'm going to show my fear now. Muley inside the room was sweating profusely and pacing back and forth. Lear, Lear, what are you doing inside? If you don't speak, father will come in by himself. Oh here, here. Wrinkled his brow, Muley shouted and ran towards the door. With only a branch sound, the door slowly opened and a middle-aged man in his forties, thin and frail, with a slightly gloomy face, caught the eye. Father. Muley's throat twitched and he slowly spat out these two words. Have you reached the seven-star fighter? Nodding, with a smile on his face, Moose Snake looked at his son with a warm expression. With just one glance, his eyes were filled with surprise. Well, this morning, the child broke through to the seven-star fighter in one fell swoop. Feeling his head, Muli awkwardly smiled and respectfully replied with a smile on his face. Okay, 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 Moose Snake clapped his palm and walked back two in a row inside the room. This sudden surprise really excited him. His son was only twenty years old and now only nineteen, and now he has reached the seven-star dough, so his token is not useless. After confirming his thoughts again, Moose Snake excitedly grabbed his arm and shouted, Lear, now you can go to Yunlan sect to practice. After speaking, he took out a small silver token from his pocket. The token is exquisitely crafted and exquisitely beautiful, with intricate patterns scattered all over it. In the center of the token, there are also three large characters engraved, Yunlan sect. Muley trembled slightly and took it, feeling the unevenness on top, only to realize that it was not a dream. Father, where did you come from? With a slight frown, Muley let out a thud in his heart and then asked. My own father is just a two-star fighter, how could he possibly obtain the token of Yunlan sect? I'm afraid it's not killing people and stealing goods. That's not right. With his strength, he can only kill ordinary disciples. This token is not easy at first glance. With a light smile, Moose Snake rubbed his son's head and slowly spoke, you don't need to speculate about his origin. Anyway, it's definitely authentic. Take him quickly and go to Yunlan Sect to learn advanced techniques and strengthen our Mu family. The Mu family. Muley murmured softly, and were only two people worthy of being called home. Is it possible that my father still has something to hide from me? Anyway, it's impossible for Yun Lanzong to go. He still has to wait for his good brother Xiao Yan here. So, Muley arched his hand and said, Father, Yun Lanzong hides dirt and filth. If the child doesn't go, why don't you go to the auction house to auction off this token and exchange it for advanced martial arts? Confused. Mu Shi stiffened her face and said with a resentful expression, If you're here with me, you'll be a master of martial arts for the rest of your life. If you're lucky, you might be able to reach the great master of martial arts, the blood sea of my Mu family. Before he could finish speaking, Mu Snake's face changed slightly and he quickly changed his mind. I'm still waiting for you to return after completing your studies and strengthen my Mu family. There is indeed a problem. Muley sighed in his heart. Since he didn't want to say it, it was likely because his enemy's strength was too strong and he couldn't afford it, so he didn't want to talk to him anymore. Helpless, Muley had to take the token first and then reply, okay, but I still have to stay here for a while. I have to wait for someone here. With this system, do you still admire this rundown Yunlan sect? 
Canaan Academy is many times stronger than that shabby one, and apart from Yun Yun, no one in Yun Lan's sect has any attraction for him. After discussing the matter, the father and son fell into an awkward situation. Look at me, I look at you, speechless. Whether in his past or present life, Muley is not a good speaker. Then you should rest well. Glancing at his son with a smile on his face, Mu Shi slowly spoke up. As she approached the door, Mu Shi stopped and turned her head, warning earnestly, You must not indulge in women too much now. Isn't it enough to have a red lotus alone? With a blush on his face, Muley touched his nose and awkwardly replied, The child knows that they used to be confused, and they will definitely not do these absurd things again in the future. After speaking, Muley arched his hand at his father and returned to the room to practice again. Although his father was not perfect, Muley could feel his expectations and full of love for him. For this, he must quickly improve his strength to investigate the hidden colors of the Mu family. Upon realizing this, Muley sat cross-legged in bed, closing his eyes tightly. With every breath, a pure white fighting spirit poured into his physical strength, finally converging along his thick meridians into his cyclone. Within the cyclone, a lake-sized dookie is stored here. In such a cycle, Muley's momentum continued to climb and gradually stabilized at the seven-star dough. Looking at the time again, it was already evening. After hastily having dinner, Muley returned to his cabin and practiced until the sky was completely dark. How delightful! Moving his wrist and twisting his shoulders, Muley kept nodding. The next moment, with only a sound of Jiya, a woman in her twenties and sixties, dressed in a red long dress, with a plump figure and a beautiful face, appeared in front of Muley's room. A towering and full crispy chest, with snow dot white and plump jade legs that catch the eye. Young captain, Red Lotus has come to serve you. The soft and tender words, combined with his delicate appearance, almost made Mu Li feel heartbroken. Well, that young man was a bit tired today, forget it, forget it. As soon as the words fell, the woman burst into tears with a, wow, sound, young captain, don't drive Red Lotus away. Red Lotus will definitely serve young captain with heart. I don't want to go to Tsueyin Tower, I don't want to go, sobbing. This cry actually made Muley lose his mind. From memory, it seems that this woman was bought from a human trafficker and has been serving her for three years. As for this Tsueyin Tower, it is a Gulen place in Qingshan town. Ordinary women dare not go to such a place. Under the turmoil of his heart, Mu Li sternly rebuked, don't cry. Her delicate body trembled, and Hong Lien quickly covered her mouth, her sobbing voice much quieter. At the next moment, Mu Li slowly closed the door, walked over to the woman, picked her up from her waist, and finally kissed her red lips. After a long time, the wind stopped and the rain stopped. Mu Li wrapped his hands around his head with a satisfied expression on his face, while Hong Lian's delicate body trembled slightly, her seductive eyes like silk, and her face flushed as she leaned against Muley's embrace. Young captain, please don't sell the Red Lotus. The Red Lotus will definitely serve you more attentively in the future. After the clouds and rain, Hong Lian still begged anxiously. Who said I'm going to sell you? Muley smiled slightly and shook his head, saying, How obedient are you? How could I sell you? This woman is in her twenties and sixties, with just the right amount of fullness in her body. Her original aesthetic is not a problem, somewhat reminiscent of Wei Wu's legacy. Hong Lian breathed a sigh of relief and then showed a sly smile. When Muley was wondering what this woman was going to do. End of this chapter Chapter 3 Introduction to Little Doctor Immortal You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 3 Introduction to Little Doctor Immortal The next morning, the mottled sunlight shone through the window. Muley slowly opened his eyes and saw a plump jade leg spanning his waist. The corners of Hong Lian's mouth were filled with a smile, and the blush on her face had not yet faded. The originally bright little face looked particularly tempting under the sunlight. Muley, who had been single for over twenty years in his previous life, 
did not expect to have his first woman in such a days. He is not used to sharing his things with others compared to the privileged people casually giving women as gifts. I would rather teach the people of the world to green me than teach them to green me. This is Muley's code of conduct. At this moment, he gently pushed aside the jade legs of the red lotus and was about to get up, but still accidentally startled her. After waking up, Hong Lian struggled up for the first time, then knelt down on the bed and respectfully shouted, Young Captain. Between you and me, there's no need to be like this. Muley waved his hand repeatedly and said with a smile, Since we have been married for so long, you can call me young master or your husband in the future. You can go pick some new clothes, choose a small courtyard, and choose two maids yourself. After speaking, without waiting for Hong Lian to refuse, she strode outside the house. If you sleep with someone else, you still have to improve their life. If you can't do this, isn't it even worse than a scumbag? Touching the tip of his nose, Muley remembered the beauty of last night and finally knew what it meant to be a gentle hometown and a hero's tomb. Since you're here, you naturally have to do something big before we talk. He who lies drunk on the knees of a beautiful woman and wakes up to control the world should be like a great man. Thinking about it, Muley came to the streets of Qingshan town, where the most common ones were mercenaries licking blood with their swords, the strongest alcohol, and the most charming women. As the son of Mu Shi, the strongest person in Qingshan town, Mu Li naturally has a good reputation in this town. As soon as he left, a large number of mercenaries came forward to please him. Mu Lit Ong looked coldly and walked slowly along the street with bluestone flooring to a large medicinal herb shop. I saw the shop decorated brilliantly, with the three big characters, Wan Yao Zhai, written on its plaque. At the entrance of the herbal medicine shop, there were two graceful young girls standing. He walked with his hands down and slowly entered the medicinal herb shop. As soon as I walked in, a waiter approached and bowed with a smile, saying, Oh my, Captain Mu is shining at our store. Our shop is really shining brightly. Stop talking nonsense. June's face turned cold, and Mu Li pointed to the yellow block at the corner and shouted, Help me take out the yellow lotus essence. Okay. The buddy smiled and agreed, then took out all the Huanglian essence and let Mu Li choose. If you want more, I can make the decision and give you a 20% discount, 80 gold coins per share. This Huanglian essence is a low dot level medicinal herb, and there is no alchemist in this Qingshan town. Therefore, if this medicinal herb can be sold, it will be burned with high fragrance. Now that major buyers come to visit, it is natural to be well received. Nodding his head, Muley scanned around and finally spoke slowly, wrap it all up for me, I'll take all of it. Okay, 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 the waiter's eyebrows lit up with joy and he praised repeatedly, the young leader is a talented and generous person, truly worthy of being the first young generation in our Qingshan town. After some flattery, Muley felt nauseous. He probably only had a bad reputation in Qingshan town before. Just as he was muttering, suddenly a commotion came from outside. Zio Yixian, my goodness, is that really Zio Yixian? Smash! This demon, this face, this figure. If anyone could win her favor, wouldn't it be a win.win .win situation? I think you shouldn't think about it. Without this strength, if you want a toad to eat swan meat, be careful not to become someone else's dead soul under the knife. Dot. Due to these mercenaries not deliberately suppressing their voices, these words naturally fell into Muley's ears one by one. Everyone in Qingshan town knows that Muley is the number one pursuer of Little Doctor Immortal. The next moment, a woman wearing a blue long dress walked in slowly with a smile under the gaze of everyone. That woman has an extremely beautiful appearance. The smooth cheeks like goose eggs, the snow dot white neck, and a pair of beautiful eyes are like a clear spring, clear and bottomless, making it unbearable to profane. Two strands of green silk were slightly tied up, draped down the fragrant shoulders, and landed on the towering and plump chest, outlining a perfect curve. Under the long skirt, a pair of slender and slender snow dot white legs protruded from it. During the journey, 
the hem of the skirt swayed slightly, creating a fragrant breeze. Xiao Yixian and Mu Li exchanged a glance and quickly turned their faces away, but it was difficult to conceal the disgust in their eyes. The original Mu Li relied on his natural talent, combined with his father's influence, to bully men and women in this Qingshan town. The mercenaries in Qingshan town have been suffering for a long time. Shaking his head, Mu Li gave a bitter smile before slowly speaking, I'm sorry, I used to be a bit of a jerk. I won't keep pestering you anymore. Shall we be ordinary friends? Xiao Yixian's pretty face turned slightly red, and with a thud in his heart, he looked up and down at Mu Li again. What mouth did these words come from? But soon, she guessed Mu Li's purpose, pretended to be friends with herself, and took the opportunity to approach her. That's right, it must be like this. After confirming her conjecture, Xiao Yixian didn't give Mu Li a good face. She just glanced at Mu Li and said coldly, As your friend, that little woman may be too tall. A strange aura of yin and yang choked Mu Li's face slightly. The waiter felt a bit awkward in the atmosphere and hurriedly came out to mediate. Young leader, your medicinal herbs are ready, totaling 6,400 gold coins. Please verify. Why is this guy buying medicinal herbs? When Little Medical Immortal was puzzled, Mu Li simply took out a gold coin to settle the medicinal herbs, and then showed an apologetic expression to Little Medical Immortal again, saying softly, I deeply apologize for what I have done before. I will never do it again, whether you believe it or not, I will still do it. After finishing his words, Mu Li took a step and turned around to leave. Hey, Xiao Yixian called out to Mu Li. Yes. Mu Li felt ecstatic in his heart, but on the surface, he pretended to be calm and turned around, asking, Is there anything else? You didn't give enough gold coins, Xiao Yixian said impatiently, wrinkling her chiong nose and slightly raising the corner of her mouth. As soon as these words were spoken, the faces of the onlookers turned red, but no one dared to laugh, fearing to anger the notorious young commander of the wolf-headed mercenary regiment. Muley, with a grim face, stepped forward and replenished two hundred gold coins before finally leaving with great strides. Just a few steps away, a cold female voice came from behind him again. In a while, I will go into the mountain to collect medicine. If you want to come, come with me into the mountain. Hmm. Muley stopped and responded expressionlessly, then slowly walked towards the street. End of this chapter. Chapter 4. Pu Xian Nu Jinxia 2. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 4. Pu Xian Nu Jinxia 2. Farewell to the little doctor immortal, Muli hurriedly returned home and then sat cross legged on the bed to practice. On the big bed, Muli tightly closed his eyes breathing heavily as pure energy streamed into his body. Finally, it flowed into his own cyclone along the thick meridians. In this cycle, there was a slight change in Muley's breath. After a long time, he suddenly opened his eyes and spat out a mouthful of turbid chi, finally ending today's cultivation. Taking a closer look at his own body, he noticed that his meridians were thick and his fighting spirit was lingering. Mu Li couldn't help but nod his head. It truly deserves to be a Xuanjia martial art. This level of cultivation can extract three strands of fighting energy at once, and it is more refined and pure than the yellow level cultivation, making it easier to cultivate. Dong Dong Dong, while pondering, there was another hurried knocking on the door outside, accompanied by a strange female voice. Young Captain, Fayer has something important to report to you. Fayer. Muley murmured softly, then searched for the name in his mind, and suddenly heard that this girl seemed to be the assistant of the little doctor immortal. The original owner, in order to pursue the little doctor immortal, started with this foolish girl. Come in, the door is not closed. Muley pondered for a moment before shouting towards the door. As soon as the words fell, I heard a branch sound, and the door slowly opened. A girl in a pink long dress tiptoed in. The girl's beauty is above average, and her figure is exquisite and charming. 
Although she may not be as stunning as the little doctor immortal, her family's jade also has its own characteristics. Her name is Li Fei, and she is the assistant of Xiao Yixian. Li Fei saw Mu Li and immediately walked up to him with lotus steps. She said coquettishly, Young captain, you have promised to make her your woman as long as you help you deal with the little doctor immortal. That's nature, Mu Li touched his nose and asked, By the way, you came to see me so late. Aren't you afraid that the little doctor fairy will find out? Li Fei pouted and said nonchalantly, They're not afraid, and she may not be there. Besides, she's always heading towards the Warcraft Mountains, so there's time to worry about me. Is this where the little doctor immortal discovered the strong man's cave? In the original work, the little doctor immortal found a powerful bridal chamber, and it was from this fair that Muley learned his whereabouts before following him. As a result, he became enemies with Xiao Yan here. Li Fei looked at Mu Li and was slightly stunned. She let out a coquettish voice and said sweetly, Young Captain, Fei has brought a big secret to find you tonight. Sure enough. Mu Li pretended to be surprised and asked, What big secret? Let me tell you. Li Fei spat out her tongue, hugged her chest with both hands, and proudly said, it depends on the sincerity of the young captain. Forget it, Muley's face turned cold as he waved his hand and said, You little assistant, little Dr. Sien is willing to tell you some big secret. It's probably a waste of my time again. After speaking, Muley pretended to walk outside the house. Hey hey hey, Li Fei suddenly became anxious and quickly grabbed Muley's arm, saying, it was the little doctor immortal who discovered a strongman's cave in the Warcraft Mountains. That strongman's strength is at least above that of Doling. In Qingshan town, Mu Shi, the two-star dosher, is already a remarkable figure, let alone a suspected Doling-level powerhouse. Muley pretended to be overjoyed and nodded at Li Fei, praising, Well done, I didn't see you wrong. You are really my good friend. With a flick of her eyes and a lick of her lips, Li Fei seductively coquettishly said, So, how are the young captain going to reward Fei'er? After speaking, she added, Tonight, I told Xiao Yixian that I won't go back tonight. Words are full of hints. Muley's lips curved slightly as he walked up to her and then sealed off her fighting spirit. Li Fei was first frightened, and then a bright smile appeared on his face. She thought Muley wanted to play with some flower things, so she closed her eyes tightly and looked like she was picking any flowers. However, after a long time, he still didn't feel his next move. Opening his beautiful eyes, Muley had long disappeared without a trace. After leaving the small courtyard, Muley felt a gust of wind under his feet and took a few steps to the residence of the little doctor immortal, then informed him of the details of the matter. What? When the little medical fairy found out that she had been betrayed by Fair, she exclaimed in surprise. However, when she thought of Muley's usual bad behavior, she still felt a murmur in her heart. This stupid woman. Muley saw that the little doctor immortal was still very wary of him. Even if he had invited him before, he only treated himself as a big hand, and suddenly an unnamed fire rushed up. You stupid woman. Do you think Li Fei is something good? I was just hooking my fingers, and she took the initiative to climb onto my bed. You don't even know that there are people around you who insist on killing you, so you have a long memory, right? After a fierce scolding, Muley felt relieved and then added, You found a strongman's cave in the Warcraft Mountains, and you should go search in a few days. The little doctor fairy's face turned pale, and her body couldn't help but soften. She only told her assistant Li Fei this secret, and now that Muley knows it, what he said is true. Is it possible that he has really changed? Impossible, impossible. This must be him playing hard to get, trying to gain my favor. That's right, it must be like this. Xiao Yixian formed a storm in his mind, then organized his language and replied, Thank you for coming to tell me, but I won't like you. Just let this heart die. Who said I like you? Moli said helplessly as he buttoned his nose. I just thought of you as a friend and came to tell you, but you kept saying I like you. Pushin Jurchen, bow down. 
Who, Xan knew. The little doctor whispered, his cold face slightly turning red, and then asked again, what do you mean by this Pu Xian Nu? It sounds like I'm cursing. Literally, Muley replied, an ordinary and confident woman, when she sees a man, thinks that others will definitely like her. Hmm. It's somewhat similar to your symptoms just now. You. Xiao Yixian's face turned pale with anger, and he grabbed a handful of yellow medicinal powder and dispersed it in front of Muley. A strange fragrance instantly spread throughout. Muley didn't dare to be careless, covered his mouth and nose, and urged his fighting spirit to resist. The strength of the Seven Star Fighter is fully displayed. Have you reached the Seven Star Fighter? Xiao Yixian looked at Mu Liyun's indifferent appearance, covered his vermilion lips with both hands, and shouted. That's nature. With a slight smile on his lips, Muli nodded proudly and said, If you apologize to me now, it's still in time. Otherwise, don't blame me for being impolite. Her overpowering drug only poisons ordinary low-dot-level fighters, and has almost no effect on high-dot-level fighters. Not long after, the overpowering drug dissipated, and Muli's body suddenly emerged, flashing in front of the little doctor immortal. Looking at her seductive red lips, Muley took a deep breath and then kissed heavily under her frightened gaze. Woo 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 woo. Woo woo, you bastard. The little medical immortal waved his jade hand and continuously patted Muley's chest, but his fighting spirit was weak and he was approached by Muley, who was his opponent. The moisture emanating from her lips and the numbness in her brain instantly made her delicate body limp. The faint fragrance emanating from the body of the little doctor immortal, as well as the gentle and delicate body, made Mu Li enjoy it even more. After a long time, the two parted lips. Xiao Yixian wiped his mouth a few times, making a series of ba 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 sounds, and finally looked at Mu Li with a resentful expression on his face. Don't be so heartless. I see you enjoy it quite a bit from behind, and you even took the initiative to hook my neck. Muley slightly raised the corner of his mouth and joked with a smile. You're talking nonsense, I don't have any. Little Dr. Sien recalled his performance just now and quickly retorted. So let's try again. MMM hmm, woo woo. End of this chapter. Chapter 5 A Blackfoot Youth Comes to Qingshan Town. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 5 a black-foot youth comes to Qingshan town, Muley, you bastard, woo-woo, sorry. Um, 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 you bastard, sorry. The next morning, Muley lay in bed, recalling the beauty of last night and the shy appearance of the little doctor fairy, and unconsciously licked his lips. This girl has finally been kissed by herself. At this moment, Muley's heart was filled with boundless pride. As for Li Fei, just give her three melons and two dates to pass the time. I have no feelings for her anyway, and this woman is very different from Honglian. While pondering, Li Fei slowly struggled up from the bedside, feeling somewhat disappointed as she looked at her neatly dressed appearance. She is not even a fighter now. Without a big support, it would be difficult for her to survive in this world of the jungle. Young leader, didn't you agree to reward Fei? -er? Why didn't you come back when it was almost dawn? Li Fei blushed slightly and murmured softly. Get lost. Muley slammed his face and scolded heavily, How can I tolerate you, someone like you who betrays me? Today, you can betray the little doctor immortal to climb onto me. If you have a stronger support tomorrow, you will definitely abandon me immediately. Upon hearing this, Li Fei's knees softened and she knelt down on the bed with a thud, shouting repeatedly, Fayer dare not, Fayer dare not. Her pitiful and delicate appearance was truly endearing. If it weren't for Muley already penetrating this person's nature, she would have been deceived. Okay, okay, with a slight smile on his lips, Muley's serious expression turned warm and he said, it's not wrong to cling to the powerful. The law of the jungle is the law of this world, but it's just that I don't like it. Don't worry, I will find you a decent job so that you can live a good life in the future. 
After speaking, Muley walked slowly out of the room, leaving only Li Fei stunned on the big bed. I saw her gaze dull and her hair scattered, as if she had been greatly stimulated. In an instant, a strong regret filled my heart. I was wrong, really wrong. Little Dr. Fairy treated me so well that I betrayed her. Thinking of Mu Li's sweet words from the past, Li Fei's face was full of bitterness. Man, there's nothing good. After tidying up her clothes, Li Fei wiped away her tears and finally slowly left Muli's cabin, returning to the residence of the little medical fairy like a walking corpse. Inside the residence, the little medical fairy propped her chin with both hands and stared straight at the spiritual grass in the courtyard. Muli, that bastard, dared to treat herself like this. The crispy and numb feeling made her indulge in it, and in the end, she was at his mercy. The Muli of the Seven Star Fighter is much more formidable than her. She was stunned when Li Fei walked slowly in, and finally, plopped and knelt down in front of the little medical fairy. She cried tearfully, I'm sorry, I betrayed you. If you want to punish me, Fei should give it up. Sigh, with a raised eyebrow, the little doctor glanced at Li Fei and lightly lifted his vermilion lips, saying, Forget it, I don't blame you either. You can go on your own path in the future. I can't keep you anymore. If Li Fei had no sense of guilt, he couldn't say he would teach her a lesson, but since she took the initiative to speak up, let's just drive her away. After all, although they are called servants, they are also sisters. For Li Fei, Xiao Yixian still has a hint of emotion. Li Fei whispered, hmm, and then bowed again to the little doctor immortal, completely disappearing. After kissing the first beauty in Qingshan town, Muli felt very happy and walked with his hands behind his back on the Qingshir street. As they marched, all the mercenaries around met with smiles on their faces. After a moment's hesitation, Muli arrived at the entrance of the 10,000 Medicine Studio. With just one glance, his eyes were filled with surprise. In front of him, there is a young man wearing a black long shirt and carrying a huge ruler on his back. Xian Chongqi, black robe, young man. Under the three elements, Muli's heart was about to jump out. Has Xiao Yan arrived? Muli followed Xiao Yan's footsteps and slowly walked in. When the shop owner saw Muli, he immediately greeted him with a smile. Xiao Yan, due to his shabby attire, was actually ignored by the boss. Xiao Yan gave a bitter smile and then wandered around the store. Mu Li leaned against the counter, listening to the boss's incessant recommendations, but his gaze did not leave Xiao Yan's figure. Little one, someone seems to be peeking at you. Xiao Yan was strolling around happily when an old voice suddenly rang out in his ears. This reminder immediately startled Xiao Yan, and then he quickly looked around and locked in Mu Li at the counter. Oh no! I almost forgot about that old man. Muli was locked in by Xiao Yan and cursed inwardly. Then, as if nothing had happened, he turned his head and took out the blood lotus essence he had purchased earlier. He said to the boss, Boss, how much do you plan to spend on me? Ouch! The boss slapped his head and exclaimed in surprise, This can't be from the batch of Huanglian essence I sold to you, can it? If the Xi Lord finds out, he might as well skin me. Stop talking nonsense. Muli said impatiently, just tell me, how much does this thing cost? You can take it back for me. The boss pondered for a moment, then extended five fingers and shouted, 30,000 gold coins, how about it? 60,000. Muli smiled and shook his head, doubling it directly. The boss squeezed his face into a Chinese character, with a bitter expression on his face, and complained, young captain, this is too dark for you. I even gave you an 80% discount back then. How about 50,000? How about 50,000? Muli smiled and shook his head, pretending to take the blood lotus spirit back into the ring. 60,000. I'll take it. Suddenly, a clear voice suddenly sounded, like a thunderbolt, exploding inside the store. Everyone looked at the owner of the voice and realized that it was actually a young man. 
so, they all threatened and laughed at each other. Little brat, do you have so much money? You dare to shout so foolishly. If you dare to play with Lord Muley, you will be unable to bear it and walk around. That's right. That's right, you kid wouldn't even look at the place if he wanted to die. I see, this is probably the young master from that big family who came out to experience, thinking this is his family. Xiao Yan was used to mockery and had already become accustomed to this kind of scene. He silently walked up to Mu Li and smiled, saying, I don't have that many gold coins. How about exchanging them with you for a revitalizing qi pill and a gathering qi powder? Qi returning pill, a third grade pill, can accelerate the recovery of Duki. Gathering qi powder, a fourth grade pill, can make people in the ninth stage of Do Qi 100% impact and become Do practitioners. The total value of these things exceeds 150,000 gold coins. Although Muli had been mentally prepared, when Xiao Yan revealed the price, his breathing still intensified. The alchemist is indeed generous in his actions. Little brother, do you know the principle of not revealing wealth? When you wander in the martial arts world, you dare to reveal your wealth in front of so many people, not afraid of being remembered by others. Muley knew he had the protection of the medicine elder, but still reminded with a smile. After touching his nose, Xiao Yan awkwardly smiled and replied, You don't have to worry about this, brother. You just need to exchange the blood lotus essence in your hand for me. If anything else happens, I'll take care of it. Muley chuckled lightly and then handed the blood lotus essence to Xiao Yan, while introducing himself, My name is Muley, the young commander of the Wolf Head Mercenary Corps. If you have any trouble, feel free to come to me. After speaking, he also scanned around the mercenaries. Xiao Yan arched his hand at Muli and replied with a smile, Rock Owl. End of this chapter. Chapter 6 The Transformation of Little Medical Immortals You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 6 The Transformation of Little Medical Immortals After Xiao Yan got the Blood Lotus Essence, he immediately went to a small shop in Qingshan town to stay. After checking around and confirming that there was no one around, he carefully took out the blood lotus essence, which had a faint bloody smell. Little one, your luck is really good. As soon as the blood lotus spirit took it out, Yao Lao's soul body quietly appeared. At this point, refining the blood lotus pill only requires ice flame spirit grass and a fourth level ice attribute magic core. Xiao Yan nodded and said, I hope there will be some gains when I enter the Warcraft Mountains this time. Muley, who was still stuck in the 10,000 Medicine Studio, slightly raised his lips, smiled, and murmured in a low voice, Rock Owl, you're actually very careful. After speaking, I was about to leave when I heard a mechanical female voice. Congratulations to the host for giving Xiao Yan the Blood Lotus Essence. His luck has greatly increased, and now the host directly gains a fighting spirit bonus. As soon as the words fell, Muley felt a warm current flowing through his limbs. The warm current flowed along his meridians, nourishing every muscle on his body. After the muscles merged with his fighting spirit, it finally converged into the cyclone. That comfortable feeling made Muley feel comfortable all over, his face turning red, and he almost moaned. Upon closer inspection, his fighting spirit had already stabilized in the later stage of the seven-star dough, and it was probably not long before he was close to the eight-star dough. If we continue like this, we may be able to catch up with Xiao Yan and become a martial artist first. At this moment, he couldn't help but lick his lips, his eyes filled with longing. Thinking about it, the little medical immortal will go into the mountain tomorrow. He happened to go and retrieve the ice flame spirit grass, and then sell it to Xiao Yan, which is a safe way to get both money and money. As for Xiao Yi Xin, he doesn't intend to let Xiao Yan get into any trouble with her. This is my own wife, I have kissed her before. After making up his mind, Muley walked slowly towards the residence of the little doctor immortal, which was an extremely secluded small courtyard with a small area and simple decoration. A few rare medicinal herbs planted on the spiritual soil have become the focus of all. 
When Muley arrived, the little Dr. Immortal was walking back and forth in the courtyard, picking a spiritual flower and a strange grass there. Finally, he said that they had gathered in front of him, still reciting words. Muley, you bastard, let's see if I'm not poisoning you this time. Even if you're a seven-star fighter, you can't escape the clutches of my daughter. I'm going, this is to murder my husband. Upon hearing these words, Muley's face changed slightly and he quickly leaned over the wall to peek. Looking into the courtyard from here, she saw the little medical fairy stirring up her fighting spirit, crushing various medicinal herbs, and gathering layers of medicinal powder in a certain proportion. After multiple experiments, she picked up a bottle of poison and took a sip. Poo, 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 the bitter taste instantly made her spit out the poison. No, no, this definitely won't poison that bad guy. Muley, who was not far away, trembled with fear. This girl was truly a disaster poison. Even if she hadn't developed it yet, she dared to take the poison raw. Eating it was more powerful than smelling it. Upon careful consideration, this girl's disappointed appearance suggests that the development was not successful. Hee <laughs> hee, then I'm relatively safe. Muley gave a lewd smile and jumped over the wall, jokingly saying, Why, are you planning to get these bottles and jars out? Can't you murder your husband? Muley. The little medical fairy saw someone and immediately said coldly, What are you doing here? Isn't it because you were born to like climbing other people's walls? Cough and cough this woman is okay if she doesn't speak, she chokes to death when she speaks. Muley organized a speech and said calmly, Tomorrow, aren't you going into the mountain to find that strong men's cave? I'll go with you, and we'll divide the things inside into five or five. How about that? What kind of strong man's cave? The little doctor gently stroked his red lips and smiled softly, you may not have been mentally alert lately. Why don't you go back and wake up before talking to me? Four or six. Muley gritted his teeth and shouted again. I really don't know what you're talking about, so please go back. Three or seven open. Muley's teeth are almost biting apart. Fortunately, he kept silently reciting in his heart, after all, he was his own daughter. In law, which suppressed his inner anger. Upon hearing Sanchi Kai, the little doctor's delicate body trembled, and the details became somewhat moved. However, she was not at ease with Muley, even in the matter of Li Fei, this guy was the first to confess to herself. But who knows, this wouldn't be his bitter trick. Moreover, his breath seems to have become quite rich. If he were to use force against himself in a closed room, wouldn't he be losing both his life and money? Seeing that the little doctor immortal still didn't believe in him, Muleton felt speechless. He suppressed his anger and calmly asked, What exactly is it that you want to believe in my sincerity? It's not impossible for me to believe in you, Xiao Yixian chuckled lightly and said, Unless you let me plant poison on you, and if I don't get the antidote within a month, your cultivation will be ruined and you will die suddenly. Is this woman also poisonous? If this woman doesn't keep her word, wouldn't she just give up? No, no, the union is still waiting for me. No, no, absolutely not. Muley shook his head repeatedly to deny. The little medical immortal not far away saw him refuse and gave a bitter smile, secretly sighing in his heart. Sure enough, there's nothing good about men. Since you refuse, please go back and don't bother me again in the future, Lu Mei raised her eyebrows and said coldly. The negotiations were completely deadlocked. At this moment, a mechanical female voice rang out again in Muley's mind. The host's anti-venom constitution has already reached the level of a master, so the opponent's poison is ineffective against you. You didn't say it earlier, damn it. Muley cursed in his heart and quickly called out to the little doctor immortal, I should have done it. You plant poison on me, and I don't believe you have such a snake-like heart. You're willing to kill me. The little doctor stopped in his tracks, his body trembling uncontrollably. Muley has been the only person in so many years who is willing to plant poison on him voluntarily. 
even between couples, they dare not let each other plant poison at will. Because human nature is the most untested. After thinking it through, the little doctor said coldly, then come in. After speaking, Muli walked inside the room first. Seeing her attitude change towards him, he was overjoyed and followed her with a thud. In the inner room, the little medical fairy took out a small red porcelain bottle and shook it in front of Muli. With a coquettish smile, she said, you've figured it out. Once this medicine enters your body, not to mention you, a little fighter, even a fighter without an antidote is powerless to return to heaven. Although he had a foolproof plan in his heart, Muli still pretended to be a bit timid. Who is afraid? We have kissed and hugged each other before, but I don't believe it. You are willing to really poison me. As soon as these words were spoken, a blush instantly climbed onto the neck of the little medical fairy, but it quickly dissipated. She took out a cup of preserved fruit, poured in medicinal powder, stirred well, and handed it to Muli. Drink it, I'll take you to that strongman's cave, otherwise, we won't talk, she said Muli stared fixedly at the cup of highly poisonous candied fruit, and finally snatched it from the hands of the little medical fairy. He took several bites of the fruit, pouring it upside down. After finishing his drink, Muli wiped his mouth and said casually, All right, now my life and death are in your hands alone. If you die, I won't be able to live either. We can only be a pair of unfortunate mandarin ducks. Pooh, nonsense, who wants to be a miserable mandarin duck with you? The little doctor blushed and retorted. Then let's not suffer the fate of the mandarin ducks, let's be enemies of wealth and status. After speaking, Muley laughed and left. Looking at the figure of Muley leaving, the little medical fairy's heart was in turmoil. This guy has really changed. End of this chapter Chapter 7 Entering the Warcraft Mountains You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 7 Entering the Warcraft Mountains In the early morning, Qingshan Town is particularly charming, with refreshing air that makes people feel refreshed and happy. The green trees provide shade and lush greenery, making people feel like they are in a green world. The sun slowly rose from the top of the mountain, red like a disc, scattering on the early rising mercenaries, reflecting their faces exceptionally holy. Muley walked slowly on the street with a spring breeze on his face, a smile on his face, and seven or eight of his own mercenaries. Beside him, a young man in his twenties and sixties, with a thin monkey-like appearance, flattered him with a flattering expression and continued to praise him. The young leader is a talented and talented person, with outstanding talent. Even the little medical fairy, who doesn't indulge in worldly affairs, has admired the young leader. This time, you will definitely be able to bring back the beautiful woman. All right, all right. With a slight smile on his lips, Muli joked, you study these things day by day. If you use more skills in cultivation, you won't be at this age to reach the level of a five-dot star fighter. From his memory, Muli learned that the skinny man's name was Ma Zhong. Although his cultivation was not high, he was shrewd and had eyes, so he was taken by Muli's side. Ma Zhong was teased by his boss and walked down the slope, continuing to praise him, my talent is so great that it can compare to the few regimental leaders there. I'm afraid it won't be long before you can surpass the third regimental leader and become the third strongest in our regiment. Good guy, he's really a flatterer reincarnated. Muley cursed inwardly and quickened his pace to run forward. After walking hundreds of steps, he saw a bustling procession appearing in his sight. In the center of the procession, the little doctor fairy was dressed in a long dress, surrounded by people like stars and the moon. In front of the team, there is also a big man with a black face, constantly shouting at the top of his voice. Wanyazi recruits mercenaries to protect the young medical immortals from entering the mountain to collect herbs. The quota is limited, first come, first served. The reward is 500 gold coins, and the minimum requirement is a two-star fighter. The influence of Xiao Yixian in Qingshan town, coupled with his generous rewards, naturally gave these mercenaries great appeal. However, 
almost all mercenaries who could meet the requirements wanted to intervene. Neely glanced at the bustling team and slowly walked into the crowd with seven or eight mercenaries. As soon as he walked in, the mercenaries around him scattered and gave up their positions, which annoyed this big brother. Smash! The little medical fairy smirked and joked, it seems that you, the young commander of the Wolfhead Mercenary Corps, are not very popular either. It's okay, as long as you're popular. Touching his nose, Muley smiled freely. After speaking, he glanced at the team again and didn't notice Xiao Yan. He was about to take a long breath of relief when he suddenly heard a childish shout coming from not far away. Count me in. As soon as these words were spoken, they attracted the attention of mercenaries around them. After seeing the incoming person clearly, the man in charge of recruitment patted his head and smiled, saying, Little brother, we have entered the Warcraft mountain range, not every family. If you cannot reach the strength of the two-star doe, even if I let you in, it will only harm you. Yes, yes, have you grown all your hair yet? I thought this Warcraft mountain range was your backyard, come and go whenever you want it. Go ahead and don't block me from walking with the little doctor immortal, otherwise the master will chop you up and throw you into the mountains to feed the wolves. I think this kid is probably the one who came out to experience, very proud and proud. The mercenaries on the periphery saw that the young man was very immature and instinctively believed that he was deliberately causing trouble, so they cursed and shouted loudly. Over the past four years, Xiao Yan has become accustomed to insults and ridicule due to his cold eyes. He ignored the ridicule of the crowd and approached a boulder without hesitation. His gaze was resolute, his feet stood still, and a layer of pale yellow fighting spirit covered his fist. With his fighting spirit wrapped around his fist, he fiercely threw it towards the boulder. Bang! The boulder shattered in response to the sound. Gollum! The mercenary man on the outskirts swallowed a mouthful of water, his face already full of horror. This young man is far superior to a two-star fighter. Judging from his appearance, some people believe that he is a four-star fighter. The young man is only sixteen or seventeen years old, yet he has such strength, which makes people cannot help but marvel. People compare themselves to others, which is infuriating. Can I meet the conditions? Xiao Yan raised his lips slightly, withdrew his fist, wiped the dust off it, and asked with a smile. Oh, satisfied, satisfied. The man in charge of recruitment woke up like a dream and quickly laughed and praised, little brother, you have extraordinary talent. Your joining has added some extra security to our trip to the Warcraft Mountains. Xiao Yan smiled lightly all his life and walked expressionlessly to the corner of the queue to stand still. Not far away, Muley squinted his eyes and glanced at Xiao Yan. He cursed inwardly and then turned his head to look at the little doctor immortal. After discovering that she was not abnormal, he breathed a sigh of relief. I've dodged countless times, but I still haven't dodged this guy. What's wrong with you? Little Dr. Xian noticed the change in Muley and asked with concern. Oh, it's nothing, Muley replied calmly. Since everyone is almost here, let's hurry into the mountain to avoid not arriving at the station by night. Hmm. Xiao Yixian nodded and gave a signal to the man in charge of recruitment. The man understood and cleared his throat, shouting, Everyone gather in line, prepare to depart. As soon as the words fell, all the mercenaries lined up neatly. After counting the number of people, they rushed towards the Warcraft Mountains in a grand manner. As the team advanced, lush trees towering into the clouds appeared one after another. The mottled sunlight shone through the leaves, giving off a warm feeling. The greenery is like waves, with dense vegetation. If it weren't for the dangerous Warcraft, it would be a great place for tourism. In the dense forest, Muley slowly marched with his subordinates, holding down his long sword tightly with both hands, and his fighting energy was gathering in his body for a while. This is the Warcraft Mountains, where danger can be seen everywhere, and one can easily lose one's own life if not careful. Suddenly, a small red snake covered in patterns rushed out like lightning, 
spreading its fangs and biting towards the feet of the little medical fairy. The little doctor immortal is just a star fighter, unable to react quickly and easily bitten. Be careful. Muley's face changed greatly, and he pushed away the little doctor immortal, stimulating his fighting spirit. In an instant, the surging fighting spirit injected into the long sword. With the swing of the long sword, the small snake instantly broke into two pieces. I haven't had a chance to be happy yet. Hissing twenty or so larger red snakes immediately emerged from the surrounding bushes, constantly spitting out messages and staring at the crowd. This is Red Snake, all first dot order Warcraft, Black Ice Snake. One of them is about to break through to the second order. Ordinary mercenaries have seen such a battle and instantly become a mess, crying and shouting. Oh my goodness! With so many mysterious ice snakes, we're done. Why am I so unlucky? I finally went into the mountain with the little doctor fairy, and it was the first time I encountered such a thing. I want to go home, woo woo. Go home, go back to your mother's lap. Why did the blood battle mercenary corps come out of you, this useless person? Muley's face was solemn, and he didn't expect there to be so many black ice snakes here. In the past, encountering three or five would be enough, but this time it's more than twenty. Without waiting for everyone to react, the Xianbing snake twisted its body like a ghost and attacked the team. Muley didn't dare to be too big, and his fighting spirit drove him to the extreme. He grabbed the jade hand of the little medical fairy, stepped up, and flew up an ancient tree. Under the ancient tree, numerous mercenaries fought against the black ice snake. The mercenaries crazily incited their fighting spirit and bombarded the little snake, but unfortunately, the snake was agile and the strength of Warcraft was already stronger than that of humans of the same level. Therefore, more than twenty black ice snakes caused great suffering to the mercenaries. Soon, an unlucky person was bitten by a black ice snake and let out a scream, causing his body to slowly collapse. A scream sounded, followed by the second and third screams. Ah! In no time, the smell of blood mixed with screams quickly spread. The scene was unprecedented in severity. Why did you bring me up? My little medical fairy is not someone who is greedy for life and afraid of death. The worst thing is to die. Please let me go, you bastard. The little medical fairy saw Muli hiding with him and shouted anxiously. However, Muli turned a deaf ear and stared at Xiao Yen with a pair of eyes. He waved his Xuanzong ruler, and with each wave, a Xianbing snake exploded into a mist of blood. It's good to have you. Muli sighed and turned his gaze once again to the black ice snake, which was almost reaching level two. It continuously spewed purple poison mist, and in the mist, the unlucky mercenaries were instantly paralyzed, eventually becoming prey to the giant snake's plate. Capture the thief first, capture the king. After making up his mind, Muley turned his head and asked, Do you have any poison that can temporarily suppress that big guy? You don't want to fight him alone, do you? Xiao Yixian explained with a surprised expression, that guy is almost breaking through the edge of the dough. Even if I suppress him to the nine-star dough, it's not something you can handle. You don't have to worry about it, Muley smiled freely. The little doctor nodded and said, okay, you can sprinkle this Rialgar around it, maybe it will have an effect. End of this chapter. Chapter 8 The Secret of Caves You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 8 The Secret of Caves Muley tightly grasped the Rialgar powder and looked at the little medical fairy with deep affection. He said calmly, you stay here and don't wander around. Little Dr. Sien instinctively wanted to refute, but when he saw Mu Li's gaze, he nodded in agreement with a strange gesture. In the next moment, Mu Li burst out laughing, his fighting spirit gathering in his legs, and he climbed towards the ancient tree. The huge impact instantly sent him to the center of the battle circle. Before it landed, Mu Li quickly took out Rialgar powder and scattered it all over. In an instant, the black ice snake, which was originally on a fierce attack, let out a few mournful cries, and its momentum weakened significantly. Sure enough, 
it has been effective. Muley felt a sense of joy in his heart, clenching his long sword and looking at the mysterious ice snake that had reached the strength of a nine-star fighter. At this moment, its beastly pupils were tinged with a faint red color, constantly swallowing messages, clearly angered by the human in front of it. Muley clenched his long sword in his hand, exuding a hidden fighting spirit, constantly seeking opportunities for a decisive blow. Hiss, in no time, the body of the Xianbing snake approached Muley like lightning, opened its bloody jaws, and bit towards Muley. The mouth, which had never been brushed before, emitted a rich aroma that almost made Muley spit out the overnight meal. I'll go to your uncle's house. Muley covered his mouth and nose, cursed loudly, leaped for life, and flew onto the body of the Xian snake. A sticky and foul smelling sensation instantly spread throughout his body. Huang Jia advanced fighting skill. Fire scale fist. Accompanied by a low roar, the fighting spirit between heaven and earth crazily gathered towards him, finally forming a red scaled phantom on his arm, and the fist phantom slammed down. Bang! The head of the Xianbing snake was smashed into a small hole, and blood flowed straight through its pupils, flowing all over the ground. Under one blow, the mysterious ice snake unexpectedly fell into the disadvantageous position. Take advantage of your illness and take your life. While the Xianbing snake was still confused, Muley used two fists wrapped in fighting spirit to smash it, expanding the wound again. From the outside, one could even see the flesh and blood inside jumping. The Xianbing snake felt pain and kept shaking its body, wanting to throw the human on its back. Muli drew out his long sword, focused on fighting energy, and then stabbed the Xianbing snake's body with one sword. Puzzle. The cold blood instantly dyed Muli's small face red. Roar, the Xianbing snake let out a crazy roar, rolling and moving like a madman, while Muli was like a maggot on the tarsal bone, clinging tightly to Xuanbing's body. At the same time, the long sword was thrown high and thrust again fiercely, sliding along the body of the Xian ice snake and pulling it all the way, instantly forming a wound on its back that was equivalent to its body size. The wound is deep and visible, with even jumping organs visible inside. The Xianbing snake struggled fiercely a few times, threw Muli out, and finally collapsed with a loud crash. Looking at the black ice snake that collapsed with a loud roar, Muli gasped for breath and slightly raised the corner of his mouth, showing a proud smile towards the nearby little medical fairy. The two of them exchanged a glance, and the contempt in the eyes of the little doctor fairy was completely gone. This guy actually dares to engage in close combat with the Xianbing snake. The most difficult thing to deal with the Xianbing snake is its venom. If Mu Ligong is really thrown down, the consequences will be unimaginable. Fortunately, everything has come to an end. As soon as Muli succeeded, the surviving Xianbing snakes retreated one after another. The mercenaries of the Wolf Head Mercenary Corps saw this and their faces were ecstatic. They kept waving their bloody long swords and shouting loudly. We won. We won. The young leader is majestic, the young leader is majestic. The mercenaries of the other mercenary groups, although they used to look down on Muli, this time they had to give him a new evaluation of his strength. Judging from the intensity of his newly erupted fighting spirit, it was unbearable compared to the Eight Stars. The Eight Star Do is a prominent figure in Qingshan Town. This Qingshan Town is going to change. As the victim, Mu Li had no mood to care about these things at all. He scanned the crowd and found that Xiao Yan was nowhere to be found. Finally, he breathed a sigh of relief. This guy is not here, so we can finally go and explore treasures with the little Doctor Immortal. At this point, the pain of being hit by the Xianbing snake just now dissipated instantly. After the battle came to a complete stop, the little medical fairy walked slowly into the crowd with lotus steps, carefully healing each mercenary's injuries and dispelling the toxins in her body. Finally, she walked up to Muli. Looking at Muli, whose face was covered in blood and covered in scars all over her body, she blushed and spoke calmly, in the future, it's better to do less of this kind of arrogant thing, 
so as not to know how to die. Do you care about me? Muley grinned and joked, I knew you wouldn't have such a snake-like heart. You definitely care about me. Ouch. Take it lightly, it hurts, it hurts. Before he could finish speaking, Muley felt a burning and piercing sensation coming from the wound. The little doctor's cheeks bulged and he muttered, Humph, it hurts so much for you. I should tear open your mouth and see if you dare to talk nonsense all day long. The mercenaries around saw this scene and were instantly heartbroken. Their goddess, surprisingly, speaks to people like this. Usually, the little medical fairy treats people politely and will never say any more nonsense. Today, it's like a little woman flirting and flirting. However, Millie's current strength is also worthy of the little doctor immortal. For some reason, this guy's strength has quietly reached that of the seven-star doe, and it seems that he is only one step away from the eight-star doe. People compare to each other, it's really frustrating. After realizing that there was no way out, the mercenaries did not bother themselves and scattered around, guarding themselves from being attacked again. Little Sample, you dare to steal my wife from me. Muley enjoyed the treatment of the little doctor immortal while carefully evaluating this girl. I saw the little medical immortal frowning and concentrating, extending his jade hand to apply a specific ointment on his body. The softness and coldness of the fingertips, combined with the gentle blushing of the beautiful woman's cold face, make Muley feel relaxed. His face and temperament are all exceptional, but his figure is too thin and weak. Especially this airport-like chest. Where are you looking? The little doctor saw Muley's gaze fixed on his chest and said coquettishly, if you look again, I won't give you an antidote. After a month, your cultivation will be ruined and you will die suddenly. Feeling his nose, Muley awkwardly smiled and turned the topic aside, whispering, now, you can take me to that place. Don't worry, my strength can definitely protect you. The little doctor nodded and said, wait, then walked around and left. Muley chuckled lightly and called on the mercenaries under his hands to clean up the body of the warcraft. The magic core of the Xianbing snake, as well as their venomous fangs, are all good things. If you take them back and sell them, they can be considered a considerable income. After hastily resting for two hours, Muley regained most of his fighting spirit and continued walking into the Warcraft mountains. The rest went smoothly, as there were some solitary Warcraft creatures that Muley and his men could easily handle. As night fell, the little doctor glanced at the sky and said softly, You all worked hard. Let's camp here tonight and rest. The road ahead is also difficult to walk, and the danger is not small. Everyone nodded repeatedly, took out tents, and set up camp. In no time, the campfire rose and the aroma of grilled meat instantly wafted out. After dinner, Muley returned to his tent, closed his eyes and focused, waiting for tonight's action. Stubborn. Suddenly, a slight commotion echoed in Muley's ear. He chuckled lightly and slowly opened his eyes. After tidying up his clothes, Muley's figure flashed and he quickly arrived outside the tent. There, the little doctor fairy was dressed in a white long dress, and under the moonlight, she was like a lotus flower, captivating the soul. Let's go. The little doctor smiled slightly and lifted his vermilion lips lightly. End of this chapter. Chapter 9 Cave Treasure Exploration you are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 9 Cave Treasure Exploration The night is deep and tranquil. In the dense forest, Muli held a torch and slowly walked forward. Behind him, the little medical fairy's pretty face turned slightly red, and her eyes were full of complex expressions. A few days ago, he hated this guy so much that he couldn't help but imagine that now it has become this situation. As soon as he remembered the scene of forcefully kissing himself that day, little Dr. Fairy blushed and bled. Moreover, this guy was willing to take the initiative to plant poison, which was hard for her to believe. For a moment, she looked at Muley's solid back, slightly stunned. How far is it? It's been almost half an hour since we walked. 
Just as she was stunned, a clear voice suddenly exploded in her ear. Oh, the little medical fairy came to his senses and pointed ahead, saying, walk to the cliff ahead. At the bottom of the cliff is the strong man's cave. Muley nodded, squatted down, patted his back, and said sternly, then I'll carry you. At your speed, we don't know how long we'll have to walk. Whoever wants you to carry it, the little doctor refused, I can leave on my own, just take care of yourself. Come here, you. Muley's figure flashed and he walked up to the little doctor immortal. With a bend in his hands, he picked her up from his waist in response to her startled cries and walked forward quickly. In no time, it had already run hundreds of meters away. The beauty in her arms is warm and soft like jade, emitting a delicate fragrance like green lotus, which is irresistible. You let go of me, you bastard. You let go of me. The little doctor gritted his silver teeth and kept waving his powder fist to hit Mu Li's chest. The powder fist was weak, as if flirting with him. With a slight curl of his mouth, Muley lowered his head and threatened coldly, If you dare to move around again, I'll take you naked and lead you into the woods. How dare you! Little Dr. Fairy's pretty face turned cold, her hands resting on her chest, and she fiercely replied, Don't forget, you still have my poison planted on you. After a month, you won't get the antidote, and your cultivation will be ruined, leading to a sudden death. Death under the peony, being a ghost is also charming. Muley burst out laughing, but his footsteps kept going. You. The little medical fairy was momentarily speechless, her eyes blazing with fire, and her chest constantly heaving with anger. Although it may not be turbulent, it is always better than calm waves. After Mu Li's eyes were filled with happiness, he also knew the importance, so he only focused on traveling and no longer flirted with the warm and fragrant jade in his arms. I saw him kicking his legs on the ground and taking a few meters to dodge. Gradually, his vision gradually broadened, and in the end, it suddenly became clear. A mountain cliff shrouded in thick mist suddenly appeared before the two of them. The cliff was about a few hundred meters high, with steep cliffs everywhere, and there was no place to rest on it. Muley was about to find a spot to fall off the mountain when he suddenly felt a pain coming from his waist, accompanied by a coquettish voice. Don't let me down yet. Under the pain, Muley quickly released the little doctor fairy and shouted, You're such a unreasonable woman. I won't waste my fighting spirit holding you, but I'll have to suffer from you. Do you think I'm willing to hold you? After speaking, he extended his finger and sniffed at the tip of his nose. In just an instant, a blush instantly climbed onto the neck of the little medical fairy. All right, all right. Muley was afraid that she would be naughty again, so he quickly admitted his mistake. It's all my fault. I want to take advantage of you, okay? Let's hurry up and take the treasure and leave, so as not to have many dreams at night. Thinking about it, Xiao Yixian immediately took out a rope and walked a few steps to the edge of the cliff. After finding an ancient tree to bind, he threw the other end and in an instant, the rope fell directly into the cliff like a spirit snake. As for all of this, the little doctor pointed to the cliff and smiled, saying, All right, you can jump off. Muley's face changed slightly, he took a few steps forward and walked to the edge of the cliff. He couldn't see the bottom from the bottom, so he asked in a deep voice, Are you sure you want me to jump off this? Are you a pig? I asked you to hold on to the rope and jump down with me. The little doctor put his hands on his hips, his cheeks bulging with anger. Oh, oh. Muley patted his head and said with a silly smile, then if you didn't say it earlier, how could I not know if you made it clear? The little doctor gritted his silver teeth tightly, with an angry expression on his face. This guy is clearly teasing himself, and he really fools himself like an ignorant girl. However, now in this wilderness, she still has to rely on Muli, a seven-star fighter. Helpless, she could only plead softly, don't go down soon. If you're caught too late, you're willing to share a share of the pie with outsiders. I'm not willing to. Obey me. Muli smiled slightly, hooked onto the slender waist of the little medical fairy, 
tied the bodies of the two with a rope, and jumped down. As the two of them fell, the outline of the cave also became apparent. The two exchanged a glance and could no longer conceal their feelings of joy. Suddenly, a series of growling sounds echoed from above the cliff. With a thud in his heart, Muli saw seven or eight red monkeys lying on the cliff. The little monkey has a fiery red body, ranging in strength from a three-dot star fighter to a six-star fighter. Its limbs are no different from humans, and its pupils are red. It stared at the beautiful little medical fairy, drooling. Fire Spirit Monkey, a first-stage warcraft, has a fiery red body and enjoys raping human women. If placed on flat ground, Muley was just not afraid, but in the air, holding a little medical fairy, he suddenly felt immense pressure. Take out all your hallucinogens, hold me tight later, don't let go. Hmm. The little doctor nodded and let out a soft, hmm. Whispering, the fire spirit monkeys around them remained silent and kept making noise, as if calling out to friends. Not long after, more and more fire spirit monkeys gathered towards the two of them. The little doctor immortal looked at the fire spirit monkey, his limbs sore and weak with fear, and his face turned pale. If you are defeated later, remember to kill me. I don't want to be wasted by these beasts. Muley glanced around and quickly descended, wanting to land at the entrance of the cave. The fire spirit monkey has a high level of intelligence and immediately spreads its teeth and claws, rushing forward to interfere. The long sword was in hand, and the surging fighting spirit quickly poured into it. With a wave of the sword, the sword energy enveloped the fighting spirit and instantly defeated the two nearest fire spirit monkey owl heads. In an instant, the surrounding fire spirit monkeys were frightened by the strength of Muli and dared not move forward. Taking advantage of this gap, he glided several meters with the little medical fairy. Be careful, shouted the two words with a pale face, and the pretty face of the little medical fairy was immediately frightened and her face turned pale. A fire spirit monkey with the strength of an eight-star doe leaped down from the mountaintop and was about to land on Muli's body. Muli's face slightly changed and his body quickly retreated. The fire spirit monkey, taking advantage of its descent speed, has already approached in a blink of an eye. No, its target is little Dr. Immortal. Muli kicked his legs like a swing, shaking himself and the body of the little Dr. Immortal. The fire spirit monkey instantly pounced and gritted its teeth in anger. Muli, what should we do now? Little Dr. Sien looked at the approaching fire spirit monkey and asked with a hint of tears. She didn't want to be spoiled by these beasts. Muley glanced at the fire spirit monkey on the cliff, waving its teeth and claws, and said in a deep voice, Later, you can take out all your poison. I'll try to see if I can kill him with just one strike. The two of them prepared well, and the little doctor fairy took out two bags of yellow powder from his arms, while Muley hit his fighting spirit in his left arm. Hands on. With a loud roar, the little medical fairy splashed white powder, while at the same time, Muli's left hand formed a huge red phantom. The phantom, carrying strong energy, smashed towards the eight-star fire spirit monkey. Feeling the breath of death, the fire spirit monkey's face changed greatly, and he felt like running when his limbs were mixed. However, the poison of the little doctor immortal had already been unleashed, and the fire spirit monkey moved slowly and was hit in the head by a punch from Muli. With a loud bang, the fire spirit monkey instantly exploded. Hot blood splattered and instantly dyed their faces red. Taking advantage of the moment to intimidate the fire spirit monkey, Muli hugged the little doctor immortal and rolled his body straight to the steps of the cave. Looking at the fire spirit monkey still grinning on the cliff, Muley raised his lips slightly, waved his fists, and looked provocative. Whispering, the remaining fire spirit monkey made a few loud noises, but had no choice but to stay in place and not dare to cross a step. All right, it's safe now. Muley grinned at the little doctor and lay on the ground, panting heavily. End of this chapter Chapter 10 the Old Father Feeding His Son You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 10 
The old father feeding his son looking at Mu Li's pitiful expression, there was a hint of guilt and a hint of joy in the eyes of the little medical fairy. Unexpectedly, this guy was quite reliable at critical moments, able to instantly kill the fire spirit monkey that had reached the eight-star doe. Although this thing has weak defense and attack capabilities, it is still enough to affirm the strength of Mu Li. The two of them rested for about thirty minutes, then slowly stood up and walked to the stone gate. On one side of the stone gate, there are two small mechanisms carved in a serrated shape, hiding hidden secrets. Xiao Yixian glanced at the mechanism slot, extended his green and jade hand, and turned towards it. With a click, the door slowly opened, and the two of them exchanged a smile and walked slowly into it. As soon as they entered, the two were shocked by the scene inside. I saw a skull sitting upright on the main seat, with a white body and a low head. At his fingertips, there was also a ring emitting a strange light hanging from it. The gold coins inside the house are piled up like a mountain, conservatively estimated to be several hundred thousand. Inside a courtyard wall in the cave, there are still some spiritual grasses and flowers, none of which describe the prominent identity of the cave owner. Now I'm developed. The little doctor burst out laughing and rushed a few steps to the small soil before hastily picking up a small shovel to dig up the spiritual grass inside. Ice Flame Spirit Grass Suddenly, a childish voice exploded like a thunderbolt in the cave. Xiao Yixian and Mu Li's bodies trembled, and they suddenly turned around to see a black-footed boy standing at the door. Okay, you old six. Mu Li watched Xiao Yan sit and enjoy himself, his teeth itching with anger. Who are you? Little Dr. Xian asked coldly, not impressed by Xiao Yan. With a smile on his face, Xiao Yan looked up and down at the little doctor immortal and said softly, I have no ill intentions, I just want to exchange for the ice flame spirit grass in your cave. I won't take anything else. What if I don't exchange it? said the little doctor coldly as he raised his neck slightly in an instant, the temperature inside the cave seemed to have dropped significantly. Muley quickly pulled the little doctor fairy behind him and complimented him, saying, Brother Yen is really skilled. He dares to act alone in the Warcraft mountain range at such an age. Brother Mu, I really need this ice flame spirit grass. If you're willing, I can exchange two pieces of gathering chi powder with you. Xiao Yan also recognized that Mu Li was the man who gave him the blood lotus spirit, so he pleaded again. Do you know each other? Little Dr. Xian heard their conversation and looked surprised. I think I know each other, Mu Li nodded and said, since you really need it, I'll give it to you. Two qi gathering pills, just treat me Mu Li as your friend. Upon hearing this, Xiao Yan was overjoyed and immediately took out two portions of juki powder. He said in a deep voice, Thank you, Brother Mu, for raising your hand. Please check these two portions of Juki powder. Muli casually checked and included the gathering chi powder in the ring. He said to Xiao Yan, Please, and pulled the little doctor immortal to make way. You're quite generous, said the little doctor fairy with a sideways glance, muttering, The most valuable among these spiritual medicines is this ice flame spirit grass. Did you just exchange it for him like this? Didn't they give us two portions of juki powder? The value of this thing is not lower than that of this ice flame spirit grass, and besides, what's the matter with you? Muley lightly tapped the little doctor's head and joked with a smile. Fortunately, this is Xiao Yan, otherwise the two of us might not have been able to leave this cave. He clearly had the help of an old doctor who could easily kill himself and the others, but he did not choose to kill anyone and silence them. Instead, he humbly and politely took out an equal amount of medicinal herbs to exchange. This is Xiao Yan, the person who harmed him is always petty, and the person who helped him is always willing to repay him. As Mu Lijing sighed, Xiao Yan had already taken the elixir and was about to bid farewell. Suddenly, a mechanical female voice exploded in Mu Li's ears. Ding! Congratulations to the host Xiao Yan for obtaining the Ice Flame Spirit Grass. The host has received a reward and has now become a first dot class alchemist. 
The sudden surprise instantly made Muley's face turn hot, his eyes turn red, and his breathing became rapid. What's wrong with you? The little doctor felt the change in Muley and quickly grabbed his hem to ask. Muley waved his hand and shouted towards Xiao Yen who walked to the cave entrance, Brother Yen, you have a share. There are three treasure chests on top of this, and each of us has one. Ah! As soon as he finished speaking, Muli felt a slight pain passing through his waist. He turned his head and saw the little doctor fairy with a cold and resentful expression looking at him. Not to mention Xiao Yen, even Xiao Yen himself has a bewildered expression. Is there such a good thing? Xiao Yen looked surprised and politely refused, Brother Mu, why don't we just forget it? I'm afraid my sister dot in dot law will be unhappy again when she goes back. Who is your sister dot in dot law? The little doctor fairy blushed slightly and spoke coquettishly, since you know it's not good like this, why don't you leave quickly? Do you have to wait for the master to rush? After three people tugged and tugged, Muley finally emptied Xiao Yan's money bag and handed him the second treasure box. Here, it is equipped with the high dot level combat skills of the Xian level, Purple Cloud Wing. If it weren't for this thing, maybe Xiao Yan would have been on the path of upgrading long ago. Ding! Congratulations to Xiao Yan for obtaining the Xian level advanced combat skill, Purple Cloud Wing, and special award for the host's Xian level advanced combat skill, Thundering Body. He he, he's good, I'm good too. Muley looked at the thunderous body inside the ring, laughing uncontrollably. Now, everything that should have been given to Xiao Yan in the early stage has already been given, and I should also practice well. Looking at the figure of Xiao Yan leaving with his long sword on his back, Muley felt like an old father watching his son walk in the distance. Gradually, Xiao Yan's figure completely disappeared, and Muli restrained his smile and turned his head. Ah! The cold and pretty face of the little doctor immortal immediately frightened Muli. What are you doing? Muli patted his chest and said with lingering fear, Are you trying to scare me to death and then swallow the treasure inside alone? Humph! With a raised eyebrow, the little doctor glanced at Muli and said coldly, All the things here belong to me now, Mississippi don't think about making any more decisions. Muley pondered for a moment. Anyway, he didn't look up to these tattered things. Fortunately, he coaxed the girl to give up and said, just treat these as part of my wife's dowry. But remember to give me a copy of the incomplete picture, it will be of great use to me. The residual image of Jinglian Demon Fire naturally needs to be held in hand, and we will eat the big wave at the end. Nonsense. The little doctor gritted his silver teeth and said coquettishly, this was clearly agreed upon beforehand, but it seems like you gave it to me. Okay, you can do whatever you want. Muley shrugged and picked up the remaining picture, pretending to walk outside the cave. Hey, why are you going? Muley spread his hands and asked in reverse, there's nothing left for me, so why am I still here? This guy, knowing he can't get on alone, deliberately says these things to anger himself. Fortunately, he still harbors his own venom in his body and is hesitant to leave easily. Little Doctor Immortal was feeling proud when he saw Mu Li's figure leap and disappear from his sight with just a few steps. He won't really leave, will he? The little medical immortal let out a thud in his heart and hurriedly ran towards the cave entrance with lotus steps. Looking around, he couldn't see the figure of Muli. She panicked, really panicked. There might be fire spirit monkeys outside, in case she gets caught by them. The consequences were terrifying to her when she thought about them. Flying Warcraft on its own is now far away, and even if it arrives, it may take some time. So, she hugged her knees with both legs, buried her head in her knees, pointed to the stone beside her and cursed, Stinky Muley, you wait for me. When I go back, I'll destroy the antidote and make your intestines rot and die. Do you really think you can't go up without me? When Xiaolan comes back, I won't even give you a penny, bastard, even if my aunt is a ghost, she won't let you go. Woo woo, the wind is so strong up there. Muley, where are you going, you bastard? 
If it's okay, I'll give you some more things. As for being so stingy. I don't know how long it took, but she cursed and cursed with a hint of crying in her voice. I heard that a fairy was just looking for me. Suddenly, a familiar male voice rang in her ear. He suddenly lifted his head and saw Muley covered in blood, appearing at the entrance with a smile on his face. Xiao Yixian suddenly stood up and lunged into Muley's arms, opening his silver teeth and biting into his chest. His the intense pain instantly made him take a cold breath. However, due to fear that his fighting spirit would jump onto the girl's teeth, he had to suppress his fighting spirit inside and silently endure the pain. After a while, the little doctor fairy let go of his teeth and repeatedly poop 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 several times. With a disdainful expression on his face, he said, You stink so much that you dirty Mrs. Teeth. After cursing, she spoke up again and asked, By the way, where did you go just now? I didn't go there, I just went to see these monkey cubs' nests. Muley smiled slightly and waved his hand, saying, End of this chapter.